Hey, what's up? This is Andy with MyTechMethods.com back with another video for you today. This video is going to be a short tutorial on how to put movies on an iPad. So today I'll show you how to load that bad boy up with a bunch of movies so you can watch them on your iPad wherever you are. So basically there are two main ways to put movies on an iPad. The first way is obviously through iTunes itself by buying and purchasing them on the iTunes store. And the second way which I'll be showing you today is copying movies from DVDs and putting them into iTunes then syncing them onto your iPad. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that right now. To do this you'll be using DVD ripping software from a company called Digiarty. They have some of the best DVD rippers for Mac and Windows. So whatever operating system you're on, go ahead and click that link. You'll see links on the video right now and in the description below. If you're a Windows user, click the Windows download link. If you're a Mac user, click the Mac download link and download and install that program. You'll be able to try it out for free. And when you see that it works for you and you like it, you can register the full copy at a special discounted price right from the program itself. For Mac users, it's going to be Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. For Windows, it's going to be WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, but they both work exactly the same. So you can follow along no matter what operating system you're on. So after you've downloaded the application from the links below and you've installed it on your computer, open it up and you'll see the application's home screen right here. Next thing you want to do is insert the DVD movie into your DVD drive on your computer. Then click this DVD button in the top left of the program. And it should display the name of the DVD movie in your drive right now and then click OK. Now when the output profile window pops up, you're going to go down to Apple device and choose iPad video and then choose whatever iPad model that you own that you're going to put this movie on and always choose the recommended option for your device. So say if I have an iPad mini, which I do, I'll choose this iPad mini recommended. If recommended just means the application has automatically selected the best quality options for your specific device. So I have my device and the recommended quality selected and then I'll click done. And here the main movie is already detected and selected for me. So the only thing I have to do is click run and the movie will end up in my desktop folder. Now here's a cool little tip. If you want the movie file to automatically be added to iTunes when it's copied onto your computer, click this browse button here and you can go into your music folder, into iTunes folder, iTunes media, and then automatically add to iTunes and click open. And that way the movie file will be copied to that folder and it will automatically add it to iTunes. If you can't find the automatically add to iTunes folder, don't worry. I'll show you how to add the video into iTunes from the desktop when we're done. And so now we're ready for the movie to be copied onto our computer in the iPad format. So we'll just click run. Okay, and when the copy is complete, you'll see the folder pop up. If you chose to put it in the automatically add to iTunes folder, you'll see that this folder is empty because it automatically added it to iTunes. So just open up iTunes, go to the movie section, and you'll see it in there automatically. If you didn't choose to put it in the automatically add to iTunes folder, just go to the folder where you copied it to, probably your desktop or wherever you chose to, then drag and drop that file into iTunes. Make sure you have iTunes open, then drop it in there, and it will automatically go into the movie section. Now to actually put the movie on your iPad, you'll need to sync your iPad to your computer via the USB cable. Now once your device shows up in iTunes, you'll click on it, then click the movie section, and then select sync movies. If you want to add all the movies that are in your movie section, you can check this automatically include all movies, and it will sync all the movies to your device. If you just want to select the one, you'll select it and click apply, and your movies will sync onto your iPad. And that's it. That's how to put movies on your iPad. By far the easiest and fastest way, in my opinion, to do that. And this application can copy any DVD movie, no matter what it is, and it can copy unlimited DVD movies. So it's definitely a must-have. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, so you are notified when I upload more helpful videos like this in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching. Keep having fun out there. I will talk to you later. Bye.